afternoon, Paranerds. I hope your day is going absolutely wonderful. And I welcome you back to the 31 Days of Halloween. That's right, we're continuing my series on my 31 favorite horror movies. And today is a great one. A cult classic, of, by all means, one of my top 10 favorites. And today, we are talking about the night of the fall is finally here for Chris, Cindy, and JC. It's going to be the best night of their lives. But tonight is also the night of the creeps. From a world unknown comes a nightmare unimagined. First. They are under you, around you, on you, and then inside you. They get in through your mouth, and you walk around while they incubate, even if you're dead. They are a new world of terror. <laughs> they are a different kind of horror. Zombies. Exploding heads, creepy crawlies. We could have a little problem. The creeps are taking over. Oh, I got good news and bad news, girls. The good news is your dates are here. What's the bad news? They're dead. You have never had a night like this. <coughs> night of the creeps. If you scream, you're dead. Night of the Creeps. Oh my god, is this movie fucking great. This movie is so much fun. I love this movie. What is Night of the Creeps? Well, it starts out in 1959. An alien attempts to escape with an experiment from his spaceship. But the capsule <laughs> ends up crashing on Earth. College students Pam and Johnny are on a date nearby the location... I believe it's a falling star. Johnny decides to investigate, but they end up being spotted by Pam's ex-boyfriend, police officer Ray Cameron. And he warns them that a maniac has escaped the loony bin and is going around and murdering people with an axe. Johnny decides to investigate anyway, leaving Pam all by herself and walks in the woods looking to find the star, only to find the alien capsule. When he starts to begin poking and prodding it, what does it happen? Well, a very weird slug jumps into his mouth. And we flash forward to the 1980s, where college student Chris and his disabled friend CJ walk around on crutches, one of the best fucking characters in this movie, one of them. our best friends, and Chris has a crush on Cynthia. Cynthia? He forgot the end in there. Uh, Cynthia Cronenberg. Now, you may see it yourself, Cameron Cronenberg. Why are these names familiar? You'll find out. Who is already dating the bully, Brad. Chris wants to join Brad's fraternity to impress Cynthia. Brad tells him in order to join, he needs to steal a corpse and leave it on the step of their rival fraternity. So JC and Chris go to the med school laboratory, and what do they find? But Johnny's body cryogenically frozen. Oh, it's a body, right? They remove the corpse from the chamber, but freak out and almost get caught, so they leave the body on the floor. However, Johnny falls out becomes reanimated, leaves the laboratory, and releases more slugs that infest people's brain and now turn them into zombies. Now, an older detective, Ray Cameron, is in charge of the investigation, initially believing that, of course, the body of Johnny being stolen is a prank, but soon realizes something more sinister is going on. 
this movie has such a crazy, crazy premise, but it's so much fun. And it should be fun. And I'll tell you why in a bit. But, sorry. A little bit of running nose there. Snot. <laughs> sorry, that was stupid. <laughs> Uh, some facts about this movie. Tom Atkins, yes, we were talking about Tom Atkins again. Halloween 3, baby. One of his favorite movies of his own. And he is fucking great in this movie. Love him. Love him as Ray Cameron. Love him. Uh, all, here we go. Why does Cameron and Cronenberg sound familiar? Well, all the last name of the main characters are based on a famous horror and sci-fi directors. George A. Romero, Chris Romero, John Carpenter, J.C., and Toby Hooper, James Carpenter Hooper. J.C. Hooper. David Cronenberg. Cynthia Cronenberg, Detective James, or I'm sorry, James Cameron, Detective Ray Cameron, John Landis, Detective Landis, Sergeant Raimi, Sam Raimi, and Steve Miner, Mr. Miner, also known as the janitor. You gotta love a director that has such respect for other horror actors, like, hey, I'm gonna name my name characters after them. Night of the Creeps is directed by Fred Decker. And if you don't know who Fred Decker is, all I have to tell you is the title of another movie, The Monster Squad. Fred Decker created The Monster Squad and Night of the Creeps. And yes, it's as fun as Monster Squad was. Night of the Creeps wasn't the only Fred Decker script which included zombies attacking humans. Around 1988, he and his friend screenwriter Shane Black, you may recognize that name, they worked together on writing a final draft, final draft of their script titled Shadow. It was actually the first script that Black wrote in 1984, a year before he wrote his first draft of Lethal weapon. That's why you know the name. The script was to be an action horror film about a group of U.S. Special Forces who died during the Vietnam War and years later their bodies are brought back. They were members of a secret army experiment. They rise up from their graves as rotting, unstoppable zombies. The zombie soldiers would have raided the army from a nearby army base and then proceeded to <laughs> to destroy the town in which they were buried, killing everyone in it and wiping it off the ground during Christmas night. Come on! Why is that movie not made? That was such a that's such a fucking awesome pre premise. It was supposed to be directed by John Carpenter sometime in 89, produced by Walter Hill, and they wanted Kurt Russell in the main role, but it was never made. The script, however, did gain a cult following by Shane, Black's, Shane Black, Fred Decker, and John Carpenter fans. Make that movie nowadays, please! That sounds like a fucking awesome movie. How fun would that be? It has the very same dead guys do not get up and walk away by themselves, followed by the shot of a dead guy walking down the street as the monster squad. You have to. If you're gonna, if you're, if you're gonna make fun of your own, if someone's gonna make fun of your movie, make fun of it yourself. Make fun of your own movie. I love this movie. I'm pissed. They killed two of my favorite characters, but I can forgive that because of how much fun this movie really is. If I ever get to meet Tom Atkins, I'm having him sign this. My Scream Factory Edition.
this was one of my grail pieces, and I was so happy to acquire it. The HD transfer on this is beautiful. This is the collector's edition, which also is the director's cut. This has both the theatrical 88 minute cut and the director's 90 minute cut. I know, two minutes, blah, 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 blah. You'd be surprised how much you can put in two minutes. I love this. This is one of my favorite pieces. Some great special features from this are interviews with actors Alan Kaser, Ken Heron, Suzanne Snyder, audio commentary with writer-director Fred Decker, and audio commentary with the cast. I cannot wait to delve into these commentaries. These behind-the-scenes facts is just a snippet. There's so much more. I don't want to give away them all. The whole structure of my 31 days is to, to tell you what the movie's about, tell you some fun facts, and give you my rating. And if I have a Blu-ray, I want to show you the Blu-ray and tell you about the special features, especially if it's Scream Factory. I cannot give enough credit to Scream Factory They and Shout Factory. They do such a phenomenal job with their Blu-rays and their media. I absolutely love it. Fred Decker directs a talented craft, a talented cast, not crast. Come on. Oh. Got a little twinge there. <laughs> a talented cast, a fun, crazy story, amazing practical effects, and much like the Monster Squad, this is a must see. I give this five brain infecting slugs out of five. How awesome is this movie? If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. This movie is so much fun. I cannot stress that enough. This is just a fun, great movie. And has one of the best catchphrases ever. Which will be the last thing you hear from me during this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I've been having a blast doing these 31 days of Halloween. And it's, I'm going to be so sad when it's over. But I have so much good content coming for you. But I really hope you like it. There'll be a ton of paranormal stuff, some comic book stuff, some books, all kinds of stuff. Really looking forward to all that. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we truly live in a real world, so go out and experience it. Thrill me.